this is pretty dangerous here as you're basically jumping on the brakes and cranking the wheel. Uh -huh. But you pull it off like a boss. Mm -hmm. Start from these giant skid marks that should show everyone this is where they turn. But, you know, assuming it doesn't go really fast again, yes, you're you're in the butter zone. You're thinking that a few more turns might lose them. if you Turn right, right, turn left, turn right, right, left, left, right, and then line. <laughs> and then up. Are you wanting to cast a spell, Kinley? No. Get a card. You get a card. Yeah, and then it'll say exactly where we are again. <laughs> All right. It's so tempting, but I can't do that. It really is. And villains are first and can't use magic. Let's see if they finally. You make a couple. Uh, give me a driving roll at plus 10 because you're able to go much slower here and you're just turn, 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 turn. And you lose them. If you can pull it off at driving plus 10, Freddie, it's all you. This is your big moment to shine. Oh, I really Ooh. thought it I thought you guys would just start taking out post office boxes and they'd follow those to you. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> All right, right, you guys. You guys seem to have lost them for now. We need to ditch this car. We need to find a place for our accordion. <laughs> for your accordion? Uh, can you imagine? Uh, like, your accordion has been uh, seized. Your accordion is going to be turned into a queue. All right, keep moving. Let's see if we can. Uh, we, we might need to carjack another car if we're going to be able to get to this residence in, in a timely manner. Uh, mm hmm. Start uh, looking for anybody that maybe like is unloading a car. Or something like that. <laughs> yeah, amazingly like, good luck roll to have a gassed up car with the keys in it and the doors open just sitting there. <laughs> this is a very white neighborhood too that you're in for reasons. Start heading towards the gas station. Yeah, head logo. Oh, sorry, uh, Rosalind Rad, since he brought up the idea. Oh, There's a car wow. you can carjack. Uh, some guy has, has got the door open, and he's, like, slapping around his girlfriend or some woman that he just met. You're not sure. I pull up, I pull up my butt behind it. I pull <laughs> up the All right. You guys, about. you guys get in the front. I, yeah. I just I just walk up to the guy, and I'm like, hey, yep. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a grapple I, and then a strength roll to see how far you can throw his ass. First the grapple, I'm assuming this, you can get him. He, he, he this, got is my, this, this is my car and my woman now. <laughs> were they standing outside the car? Or? Yeah, yeah, they were standing on the lawn having an argument or something. Wow. Right. right. Uh -oh, he, he tosses him over a fence into a yard. Yeah. Oh, God! <laughs> <laughs> FBI, motherfucker! <laughs> Baby, you're mine now. You hear somebody pounding on the fence. <laughs> no, right. no one's like, oh. Baby, I'll treat you right now. It's dry, ready? <laughs> Give me Get a seduction. Uh, yeah, I don't have <laughs> an extra person coming with us. <laughs> <laughs> Now, if you two are in the front seat, Matt and some lady are in the back seat. <laughs> My name's Jolene, she says. I don't care, baby. <laughs> I'm making a left here. Uh, that's brilliant. Uh, I, yeah. I think I, I should have made Alex a black guy to start with. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I'm not right. saying all black men would do that, but just uh, uh, playing what, the part. Super seductive. I don't care about your name, baby. I'm just going for the typical shaft type character. That's shaft. brilliant. Oh, singing plus oh. twenty. Uh, you guys are driving around with your new girlfriend. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm trying to go to where we're supposed to go. Uh, not, not a problem. You uh, eventually get there. She's snuggling with uh, Alex in the back because of oh. course she is. 
I got. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll like drop her off in the neighborhood or something before we get there. Ah, all right. She she's like, but baby, I, I don't want to go. <laughs> I'm sorry, baby. <laughs> she left the street corner hanging. Oh, awesome, yeah. Jack. <laughs> right, you guys drive off. <laughs> I have a red. I've got. Oh shit! That's gonna affect me. Effects of a dissolute lifestyle. <laughs> All right. Yes, yeah. that's gonna affect you. Oh, what's up? Essent. That's fine. Oh uh, no. Let me get that back up. What's that? He, from his. Uh, well, pretty much he drinks as much as. Uh, all the other characters combined, and uh, he got the effects of a dissolute lifestyle, which, if you're, you know, really into alcohol and or drugs, can lower stats or cause some insanity from the DTs or something. Uh, I might spend a pot actually on that. Really? Well, I don't really want to lose essence. I don't mind willpower. I need a one or a four. I'll spend one pot on that. Mm. Two. From that learning. Yeah. Like learning. Eh, go got a reroll card. You think it's worth it? Oh yeah, if you got a reroll, please. I will give you one of my opponent fails. It's a good card. Shaft. <laughs> <laughs> That's a, quite a way to get the adventure started. Oh, yeah. I think we got some things going here. Let me see. I'm glad I went on my driving up there. There we go. Cheers. Mm -hmm. okay. Oh, that didn't go through. Why didn't that one go through? Just hit accept. All right. Come on, 104. Yeah! I'm going to go nuts! Yay! It was it D8 again? Uh, it's at this point, the DTs kick in. Was it D8? I can't remember now. Shit. Yeah, it's D8. D8. All right. Ha ha ha. DTs. Yeah. All right. Three. I'll get that maxed out. One, two, three. DTs max at 16. 16. Nice. All right. That's important to have a goal. Certainly is. I don't know. Yeah, I'm, I'm close to, well, not really close. I'm, I'm working on that thing out, cold blood exciting. Yeah, you keep nice. driving uh, school buses full of uh, people off the road, you'll, you'll get that yeah. shit maxed nice up pretty quick. So, yeah. you guys pull up in front of, at last, you've reached the adventure area. Well done. Yay. Yeah, um, no problem, you guys, uh, this guy's address is an inconspicuous uh, apartment building building in a declining working class neighborhood. The building is a jarring example of shitty construction, blocky and drab. Um, it looks like it's uh, one of those uh, apartment buildings and such. And you guys see a uh, lady with a uh, stroller struggling to get it out of the main door. So we pulled up to an apartment building. <laughs> Mm -hmm. What was the thing you said about Locky and Grab? Uh, the uh, it's Blocky and Drab, the oh, apartment Locky building. And Grab, okay. Yeah. And there's some struggling with a stroller in the door. I woke mm -hmm. up to the. I woke up and say, "Madam, let me help you." And I just ripped the door. <laughs> <laughs> <Roll straight>. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I know what this one is. Uh, this should be <laughs> right. He rips the door off and she goes, This old place is just falling to shit. Our landlord is a slum lord, she says. What a scum bucket. She nods. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Takes her straw off. Your door is tossed over there. The crap. Well, Apparently, getting in should be easier now. Like, <laughs> he, is, he is, just so you guys know, he is freakish, freakishly strong. Like he might be able to pick up a motorcycle and throw it at somebody at this point. Well, we already saw him push a car out of a ditch. 
a Cadillac. Well, yeah, he had to do it a little at the time. He didn't couldn't just pick up the whole car yet, but you know, he's right. working yeah. on it. He's yeah. freakishly strong. Freakishly strong. The yes. uh, the stroller. Is there an actual baby in the stroller? Yes, yes. You look at <laughs> it. <laughs> You're lucky it's not that I picked up the truck. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's probably good for her that you didn't pick up and throw the baby. <laughs> All right, yeah, let's go inside. No problem. You guys head on in. Uh, you go. You're going through the uh, the uh, hallway and such, walking over to the door, and uh, you hear <laughs> one of the TVs on is kind of loud in uh, somebody's room and sounds kind of loud in the hallway. His place is up on the third floor. As you pass the R2 floors, then it's kind of the smells of like food and stuff mixed with piss. And uh, it's a really depressing apartment building. Uh, you guys are at the apartment that you were supposed to go to, according to note, for whatever reason you're here. You have no idea. Or maybe you right, so we should have brought shotguns for this shit. I think, I think, what, I think we're basically the cleanup crew of some mafia or something. And we're here to dispose of the body and the evidence and everything. Hmm. All right. Watch you have a listen. See if anybody's in there. I'm pretty sure he's dead, but I'll, I'll listen. <laughs> Put my ear up against the, the door. No problem. Go ahead and give me a listen roll. Wheel of Fortune! One across the hall. Is there a keyhole I can look through? Uh, no, keyholes don't work like that since the early 1900s. Okay. <laughs> Is there a peephole I can look through? Uh, peepholes don't work that way since uh, about the same time, actually. Okay. Yeah, they're made so they're kind of one way, so that people don't go, okay. who's in here to kill? I mean, you might be able to tell if somebody blocks the light, and then you just shoot them through the people. Yeah. Always good for a guy. Is, uh, okay, is the door locked? Yes. Um, I need to put, like, I need gloves or something. Fingerprints bad. You don't have any uh, gloves. I know, that's what I'm saying. What can I use? Uh, Shrug. Got some pocket change. Yeah. Maybe you can fashion a me family picture into a little slide. Am I able to pick the lock without touching the doorknob? Yes, but you can't open the door without touching the doorknob. Well, I can use my elbow to like turn it and then open the door. Doorknobs don't work like that. It's, I can it's use two elbows. Doorknob? Yeah, they slip and slide off of it. You're like, I, I don't have hands. Wouldn't worry about it, mate. We, uh, we, I don't think we got our usual fingerprints. You want me just to kick the door in? No, no, let me pick the lock. I wouldn't mind seeing that trick again. <laughs> no. I'll bet you do at some point. I'll bet you do. I've got some ideas for you. I don't know what kind of lock this is, but let me try and pick it anyway. It's funny that he got in the muscular body. It would have been funnier if he would gotten in like, the <laughs> thin white guy's thing. <laughs> Little anorexic looking dude. No problem. Uh, Thanks I for did. the lock. You guys head on in. Uh, well, okay. Who wants to touch the doorknob? Yeah, I'm not touching the doorknob. He looks paranoid about the doorknob. All right, I'll touch it. No problem. It doesn't give you a huge electrical shock that sends you back across the hall. <laughs> you just open it. It just opens this, like a normal door. This, this, time. This, this time. This time. Yeah. It doesn't after, even after they're, you. after they're both in, I'm going to use my sleeve and just wipe the fingerprints off the door now. You feel like such a tool. And so you, you go you could have just used. You could have just used your sleeve in the first place to open the door. Yeah. So anyway, inside, <laughs> uh, it looks like the apartment is spartan and grim. Aside from the old kind of nasty smell of cigarette smoke, uh, there's not a lot of evidence that anybody actually lived here. Just inside of the door, hanging on a hook, is a big old ring of keys. Uh, I'm going to give you guys the quick description of the apartment. There's a well-worn 
or this room anyway, there's a well-worn couch that's facing a fucking archaic squat television. That's not a flat screen. Uh, there's an, a coffee table that has a stack of mostly complete, completed crosswords and puzzle books, issues of Sports Illustrated and Raiders Digest, yes, magazines, and a box of unhealthy artificial donuts, powdered sugar, crumbling and dry. In the adjoining kitchen, it's mostly bare. It has cans, pans, boxes. Uh, the only vaguely human touch is a crudely drawn human-ish figure entitled Grandpa, signed Cassie, and it has two gold stars from the teacher hanging on a refrigerator. Uh, down the hall, oh, by the way, I'm assuming you guys went in and closed the door after you, or did you leave it? No, that, that, no okay. yeah. Down the hall is a linen closet that has absolutely nothing of interest. The GM is telling you, ignore it, it's a linen closet. There's no clothes in there, just leave it alone. And a small bathroom. <laughs> Now, the bathroom is interesting. It's in the, I know you guys are going to go for the linen closet. I know that. Just let me finish the description, then you can make the linen closet and dress up in it. Uh, the, the small bathroom, though, it has a broken towel rack, a cracked shower door, a few fragments of broken ceramic toothbrush holder uh, in a corner. Also, there's various traces of stuff that appears to have been left from paramedics and police officers. And smell rolls, please. <laughs> Smells so goddamn good in here and minty and shit, Ras. You can't get enough of it. <laughs> he loves it. Love to bottle that smell, mates. At so, the, at, at the end of the hall, I'm almost done. Two huh. bedrooms. One of them has a queen size bed and a dresser, on top of which are photographs of some old dude and some old lady. Uh, there's also high school graduation pictures of a couple of kids, uh, future pictures of either younger kids or grandchildren. Um, there's a ceramic paperweight with a child's handprint, the name Cassie, age four, crudely painted in it. The other bedroom looks like it was used as an office and has a huge amount of boxes and paperwork, no computer. There's also another TV hooked up to an ancient VHS player along with stacks and stacks of VHS tapes. Enjoy. Run wild. So, you mentioned the linen closet. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> no problem. <Nice. laughs> uh, head over. Would you like to dress in the linens and stuff and parade around the apartment like that? Uh, I'm okay. Rudiment. No, no, I'm okay. I'm good. We're pretty professional. Right. It's got to be professional sound, baby. Uh, how the to... hell are we supposed to clean this place in fucking 20, 20 hours today? I don't... Fire. Fire. They say leave nothing incriminating or evil behind. Well, we can't stay here then. <laughs> uh... Right, better get to work. Bugsy not the best. Unless, wait. What, what? An accidental gas leak. Would that be? Hmm. It shows the entire apartment explode and collapse, and it just shows this crazy meter go... Job well done. The the bathroom, so you mentioned, I think, like, toothbrushes and stuff in there. Yeah. Look. Oh, give me an evidence analysis roll. Lower is better. Wrestling rat mm -hmm. looking at the bathroom. Mm, he says, My quarter. Your guess is one guy lived alone. He probably had some sort of accident. Probably tried to grab hold of the, the rod there when it was collapsing, ripped it out of the wall, fell against the shower door, fell to the floor. Body probably got found later. EMTs and shit came in did stuff hence all the emt garbage in there and mm. then they went and he dead and then they took the, the corpse away well i explained that to the other two so the like the shower bar is ripped out there's emt like wrappers around oh yeah, oh, yeah. there's okay. plenty of evidence that uh medics came in here and there's even uh, like a one of the wheel tracks um when they kind of like left a little bit of a rubberized mark when they were uh, wheeling something out, probably on a gurney. 
probably like a corpse so your maybe this whole thing it, it was it was made to look so it was an assassination made to look like an accident the emt showed up took the body so the emt you just said it was probably that. the evidence that uh, we need to clean up after is all that um all right you just said prepared. it was an accident made to look like one potentially so either they want it to make look like nothing happened at all and the guy just disappeared or we it really want to wasn't a stuff, make it look like it was an actual accident so removing the wrong kind of materials could actually hurt this so uh i don't know can i use spy lore to see does this sound like the type of play a group of extractors would do or assassins where they want to make it look like he slipped in the shower and ent showed up or is this kind of thing like delta green or cia would you know send the paramedics in so they wouldn't draw suspicion but they still want us to you know just clean up period make it look like nothing happened uh, i'm sure it could be a spy lore roll by quarter Order is not good enough. No, I'm kidding. I'm, <laughs> you're you're thinking uh, you should look around for because if if paramedics were in here, then they got to look at the place. They know something definitely happened. Uh, you sh your guess is that your mission is probably to make sure that the guy didn't have any uh, spy shit around, and if he did, get rid of that. Gotcha. Because he does like if, for example, he's got. Uh, uh, tapes of uh, uh, Khrushchev or something, uh, porking yeah. his secretary in this there. I was an assistant deputy commissioner of operational support after 30 years with the IRS. That means he knows uh, a lot of dirt on a lot of people, potentially. Well, that could be his um, unofficial job title. As sure. Well. It could be that's his title, but that's not what he does. Right. So there's a this alone. Let's uh let's check around the apartment a little bit more. Try yeah, to find there's a living room, a bathroom, yeah. a bedroom, a linen closet that we're definitely not supposed to go into. <clears throat> and uh, what else was there? Uh office. A bedroom office. that been turned into an office. By the it's... way, everybody give me a spot hidden roll, uh just to notice some other shit. Critical. Oh wow. Wow. You you guys uh, see? Hold on, let me check here for something. Right, you see, uh, it looks like local police officers are out checking out the remains of your car. What? <laughs> like putting his finger in a bullet hole and shit, and you see some other new car. Pop cars. Huh? It's not cars. Here we we uh, carjacked the uh, the pimp that was. Oh yeah, you're right. right. Yeah, everybody take a card. I forgot that you got a new car. Uh -huh. That guy, let me see if that guy is going to be in any position to report it. Low is, yes, he will eventually. Eventually. You've got a little bit of time before the cops find it. I'm yes. assuming this. It shows, it shows the other scene where the cops are like looking. The guy's talking about getting carjacked. They're checking out bullet holes and what's left of your car. I'm assuming this isn't a 15 pod. Correct. This is just a normal day at the beach for you. Okay. Let's start with the obvious. Um, the picture frames with the pictures in them. We're going to check those, make sure there's no... Nothing special there. The um, <clears throat> the VHS collection, I'm going to like kind of check the uh, the VHS, see anything that looks like uh, you know, out of place. Uh, as far as the physical tapes without putting them in the machine, you mean, or...? Right, just kind of slide them out. Yeah. See, are these all like regular, or any of them uh, recorded, or have any weird messages? Oh, on? lots and lots of them are recorded with just weird, cryptic, either like dates or Cassie or you know, just miscellaneous uh, notes that probably <coughs> made sense to them. What about the uh, paperweight? Is there anything um, noticeable about that when you pick it up? It Doesn't looks fit. like the kind of crap that uh, kids make for their grandfathers, and then the grandfathers are forced to keep for the rest of their lives. Yeah, but if this guy was a spy and he was looking for places to hide shit, then hollering oh, yeah. out something like that 
sounds reasonable to me. Okay, what about the bathroom? I'm looking for like tiles. You said there's some cracked tiles. Maybe there's ones that will come away with a little let's hidden do, there. Let's do this the easy way. Uh, everybody give me spot hidden rolls as you're looking at because it's obvious that you know all kinds of good places to look. So I'm, I'm happy with your ability to search. <laughs> Freddie assures you guys. <laughs> he really assures you guys. Russell and Rad nods in agreement. Um, the the only clues here are probably more obvious than that. This guy is not unscrewing the air duct and putting shit in there. Uh, uh, let's, let's... You've isolated the possible clues to maybe something recorded on one of these fucking VHS tapes, or maybe something in this paperwork might be useful. Yeah, what's in the office? Fair enough. I'll go through the paperwork. Do you have a counting skill that will really help you uh, go faster? Of course um, I do, Logan. I was going to say, I'll help with the paperwork because I don't touch VHS demonry. They both okay, have played the VHS tape like it's got the cooties. All right, how about I look at the VHS? You do the counting. Yay. What's wrestling right. up to? I'm nodding in approval at all the ideas. So we got tapes and you've got some numbers there. I've got there with my cap on and a... <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Okay. Negative 30. Uh, Freddie, give me an electronics roll to make this archaic piece of shit work. It's about as quirky as it can be. Oh, no, no. The problem is that when you put in the tape, you hear a weird grinding noise, and then tape starts kind of coming out of the little door thing. You're not, you're thinking that's probably not supposed to do that. Uh, oh. I had to put the last one. Fuck. You fixed it. <laughs> I got auspicious. I think this is now, mate. Oh, is no. that everybody goes to two magic points, or no? I just got all cards and. Oh, draw one in return. Um, I've got a slip up or an alertness. I'm going to leave a slip up on top. I think that might be the most. I have a plan. I have a plan. Big one. We plan everything. Yeah. Up to you. Well, that's for everyone, isn't it? Is can everyone use it? I've got two. I've got two skill plus tens and three opponents fails. I need to get rid of something. So, Andy's playing oh. a replenish also. So, oh great! Yeah, well, my one, to, my one, one card was an order. So yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, I'll play the replenish. <sighs> just just call what you don't want. Then. Wrestling has such good cards. I don't know if he's gonna get rid of any. Yeah, I, I, had, I had some good cards. Knit any mare. <laughs> oh, master pay. I like that. Mm. I can slap around two people at once. Acting plus two. Ooh, I've got my pay. papers right here. Oh, I'd play that one right the fuck away if nobody's got any reds. I got cyber psychosis. I uh, unfortunately you don't have any cyberware, so you get different mm. cards for that. Damage Just so you know, uh, Matt, that candy comes through really loud on the thing. I don't know why. Better. We want to hear you. So, uh, right. Did somebody play the, uh, what was that good card that I heard? I've got papers right here. Yeah. Uh, I think it's for the zone you're in, correct? Plans. This allows characters to produce the correct citizen ID, no special IDs for the area, city, city nation the PC is currently in. Unlike the IDs gotten from other cards, like I've got to hear if someone this ID is fully backstopped. Um, that could be good because of what uh, is probably happening right now with your car. All right. Well, I've got my. Got my papers right here. Uh, did you want them with Alex Kinley's picture on it or uh, the guy whose body you happen to be inhabiting's picture on it? I'll have them from Alex Kinley's because I'm guessing we're not going to stay like this. 
Okay. You're well. You'd be disappointed to lose your new muscular black Kevin Hart guy. True, but maybe maybe I can find a way one day to come back. Back in black. <laughs> back in black. Uh, cool. So, what do I put this down as? Um. Oh. Uh, papers for, um, uh, well, does anybody know what's on your end? Yeah. Shermer. Yes. So papers, Shermer. Shermer? For Shermer, S-H-E-R-M-E-R. But for some reason, we're in the 1980s. Hold on. Um, well, Shermer is two, year 2000, I believe. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. So what's this? What's <clears throat> this sign about then? Because it's just Earth. It's just Shermer. modern day. Yeah. Two thousand. Shermer, Illinois, isn't it? Yeah. 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 I think I've been there. I think so too. I now, uh, let's see. Uh, what, what's uh, what's Rasslin Rad going to do about the whole VHS problem? Because Freddie Dunn fucked it up <clears throat> well i don't think there's any uh point in us um analyzing these tapes here why don't we take the tapes with us uh we can go get us a uh a player for this thing and okay. uh, we can do some studying elsewhere here yeah, we can get oh. uh, a telly and uh, a player it'll be about okay. Three or four boxes of VHS tapes. Oh, a lot of VHS tapes, huh? Oh, yeah. Remember how many Logan used to have? Yeah, boy. It was a tower of power. Yeah, we'll stop packing them up. It all fits onto a thumb drive now. Anyway, um, and no worries. Uh, so we had that. So the, we, we boiled it down to if there's anything interesting in this place, we think it's going to be on the tapes or uh, in the, uh, the computer work. Oh, uh, there's no computer. Yeah, this guy doesn't have a computer. Matt, you found not one, but two interesting things in the computer. And with your super accountancy skill, super accountancy, super it was super fast to find it. The two interesting things is first, he has a he owns a cabin in the woods. It's about four hours away by car. You've got the address, you've got directions, you've got a map. All that shit's there. And the deed isn't there, though. The property deed is not there. Uh, the other interesting thing. So is, what was this he found that talks about the cabin? Um, basically, property tax bills and shit. Gotcha. He's been paying property tax on it. Um, the other interesting thing is that he owns a uh, storage shed. Like, oh, oh, that's just very going away. I thought I was freezing up again. No worries. He owns a storage shed. It's one of those 24-hour access things, although the office isn't obviously open 24 hours a day. And you've got the code for the main gate, uh, and um, you you know which box is his and stuff. It's apparently a uh, very large uh, shed. And that's and close by. That's here in town. The cabin yeah. in the woods is four yeah. hours away. So we, we know the code to get in. The front gate we know which storage unit is his does do we find a combination key. or key i uh, no, no no mention of it although you're assuming it's locked well it's okay we can get in <laughs> all, right, so we'll take... fighting through lock. Ah. all right so we'll take the paperwork we'll take the uh the boxes uh should we also get a uh a different uh different vehicle well is there anything else you want to take from this place we want oh, to, uh, the linen, the linen. <laughs> all right I did those are super old they, they might come in handy sure anything else well are there any rooms that we really haven't checked yet have we given Maybe. a good look in the kitchen what's in the fridge uh, not much. Uh, there's there's some old moldy food, some milk that uh, it's probably got big clumps in it by now and stuff. It smells really bad in there. Okay. 
you all feel like you're missing something that is potentially vital. Um, well, back to the uh, like the photos of the old dude and old lady. Um, Was there any blood in the bathroom? No. Um, so there's pictures of there are pictures of him as well. Yes, he's an old dude. I want to take a picture of him just in case. Do you have a camera? No, you don't have a camera. Right, we'll oh, take, you take the, the picture. Take ah, my picture. now. <laughs> yes, got it. You snatch his picture. It's yours now. You can become him later, you think. Ha ha. Um, do we need to, like, put this place back in? Well, it's uh, okay. Our instructions were remove any evidence of our activities, leave nothing incriminating or evil behind. All right. So any kind of, uh, I mean, we don't even know what their activities were to begin with, so we're kind of just guessing. So we take uh, take all the evidence with us, so the paperwork and all the VHSs. Mm -hmm. Do we want no to clean up the ENT tracks and shit? Why, though? That's, that doesn't... That, that might actually seem odd if their family shows up and they realize someone cleaned up the place before they got there. Maybe he went on vacation. No, no, I think they know he's dead. Hmm. They know he's dead. Is We're it, just here to make sure all the, you know, the spy shit, to see. all the spy shit he has. The they air. don't care about the fact the family's going to come and go, oh, yeah, no, no, that's oh. where he fell by the shower. Oh. Are, there any, are there any bugs in this room or cameras oh. or any? Because there's a spy. So. It, not all spies own bugs. Okay. The, because the second part refers to them being the heirs already. So it's, I think it's kind of established or implied that they know he died. Oh, uh, well, yeah. So yeah. we could just kind of clean up the bathroom, take the EMT stuff with us. Uh, I, I wouldn't say even clean up. I literally think we leave it as is and just take the stuff that could be evidence. Um, Taken. You guys have all the evidence, as far as you know, or potential evidence. You have things that may or may not be evidence. I mean, as far as the papers go that you've gone through. All right. You, In the uh, living room, you mentioned stuff about like puzzle books, magazines, donuts. Yes. It's yes easy. We could have been that. putting stuff in there. And uh, sometimes people will. Uh, yes. That's put good messages thing. and things like that in there. That's very true. Um, I guess we could just take all that. Otherwise, we'll be here all day going through it. Okay. Everybody give me a spot hidden roll at half for one additional thing that you may or may not want. Nope. It's all down to you, Henry. Alex Kinley, party <laughs> paladin. By half. All right. Uh, the first thing I mentioned when you guys came in was a hey. ring of keys hanging from a hook next to the door. Oh, yeah. oh, if you want it, you can. Yeah, cool. And uh, people's eyes glaze over when the GM starts his uh, narration. So I put it in the front to give you a better chance of hitting it. But as you're walking out the door, your eyes go, oh, yeah, yeah. The air two are already carrying out these things. And there's a little lady in the hallway. And she goes, hello. She's got like one of those little yap dogs and shit in her arm. She's oh, dressed I in. Oh, I the dog. I pet the dog. Oh, what a cool fella. What's his uh, name? Give me, give me a uh, essence times three roll. <laughs> the fuck? Nice. <laughs> what? All right, essence times. <laughs> the dog goes. <laughs> <laughs> he goes. Ah. 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 Actually, at a fumble, it may have bit your ass. Let me check real quick. I think it may have gotten a finger off of you. Yeah, not good with dogs, he son. Fall, he falls down. All the shit that he was taking out goes <laughs> and scatters through the hall. She goes, oh, down, down. She pets this little yeah, dog. I'm sorry he startled you, sir. Put a muzzle on that thing. <laughs> oh, he normally doesn't act that badly toward people. I don't understand. What? You're silly. It's just a stupid, small little dog. Look, it's so cute. <laughs> Give me a ask this time. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> he's like he's doing the oh it likes him yeah it likes him see see you know, they do guy. say animals can sense evil, man. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Would you like to come in and have some ginger snaps, sir? Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> you guys are uh, becoming very concerned as to what we have. Uh, mm. <laughs> we, we have stuff to do. Go, calm, go ahead and was... calm the lady. We'll, uh, we'll take the rest down. Yeah, I'm sorry, man. We got a uh, business to take care of. Oh, are you sure you couldn't stay for a while? Maybe help me reorganize my photograph album, she oh, says. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> He's uh, flirting the, the, with the old lady. This is mildly disturbing to both of you. I'm, I'm at the stairwell by now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad at the dog He's making a break for it. <laughs> Oh, I got to play immediately. Uh, one of the party's laptops is now an expensive paperweight. Yeah, so I had color. one. They all blew up. Screw you! <laughs> I, I think you bought new high high speed goggles. No, they, I threw them out as well. Oh, remember? <laughs> I just threw them out because getting rid of a skill plus five. Anybody I'd like to point out how amusing it is that the party hacker is simply not allowed to own a computer because he always gets that card and it just. <laughs> oh, wait, no, I did. Yeah, you did. <laughs> it shows uh, him like sitting on a shelf and a little piece of dust goes when they just burst the flame. <laughs> Fine, okay. Whatever. <laughs> No problem. He gathers up his papers. He's still angry at the fucking dog. Ah, what a great fumble card for that. Anyway, um, no problem. You guys uh, can take all that stuff out and head over to your weird card with, car with the flames painted on the side and get in. Because all uh, white beaters have cars with spinners and flames on the side. It's just part of their... Do we want to grab another car? Yeah. Mm -hmm. GTA continues. Mm -hmm. uh, it's GTA, another call then. Every look for a call. Yeah. Right, uh, Freddie. Since you brought up, you give me a luck roll this time. Uh, what? Ding, 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 ding. I forgot. Freddie is the luckiest fucker in the world. He just rolls for shit. <laughs> right. You guys find another car. Um, its windows are down and stuff. And it, it's got like baby on board sticker in the back, but it looks like the kind that's still, it's an old enough car that hot wiring it shouldn't be a problem. Uh, no, there's no one in there, it. There, yeah. there's no one oh, in there. that's a shame. I reach in through the window, open the door, go then. No problem. Give me an ele uh, electronics repair and a mechanical repair to hot wire it. While he's doing that, you guys want to transfer the stuff over? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Got it. So it's on its end mechanical? Yeah, it's always been. Okay. Uh, can someone else do the mechanical bit? I'm not that good. Uh, <laughs> <straight back. laughs> Alex is like, demons! I got the wires what out. I, it's the, <laughs> yeah. I don't want to touch it. Uh, <laughs> Move the oh, out of the way. I'm repair things, Freddy. Right. You can't you can't unlock the steering wheel. You're having problems with that. So as long as you just want to go completely just straight. Go straight. <laughs> yeah, you, you'll be all right. <laughs> can we just brute force the steering wheel? You, you could try it. You're you, right. you might break it off. If you were to have Alex try it, he may just rip the whole steering wheel off. And you I could, don't think that'd be good for you. You could get a check in it. Why not why not try it out? Yeah, if you uh, want to try try going for the uh, T1000 thing and just rip yes, off the back. Yes, Come on. Go for it. Give me a strength. Yeah, and, uh, uh, attempt uh, repairing it first. Nah. Yeah. Ah, 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 says Freddy. He looks wild-eyed for a minute. And although he's still got a little blood coming out of his finger, the dog nipped him, and he's still pissed about it. <laughs> you guys, uh, who's sitting in the back seat? Uh, I'll sit in the back and uh, the, uh, the no baby. Say it again. There's a baby seat sitting next to you. No baby in it. Mm. That's good. Let's get rid of the evidence. <laughs> 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 uh, 
the um, the storage unit is that in this area or is it in the area of? It's this area, this town. All right. Yeah, it's, it's probably it's half an hour away. Let's oh, just uh, go. Let's go there. Let's just, just we go there just for a. It's closer, and b. He might have okay. a TV in there. So. Um, yeah. No problem. I'll <laughs> I'll drive you and have a bit. Yeah. Yeah, that that'll that'll work. All right, let's see the navigation. I'm curious to see how many times you guys go around the same block. Oh, uh, none. Okay, great. All right, and a drive roll plus twenty is you're driving yet another new car. It's got that old car smell. It's got the baby vomited smell actually. Yeah. Cheerios and shit on the seat next to uh, you. Right. We, we like to call him Pokey Freddy, even though he's pretty good at driving. He doesn't like to go o over half the speed limit. And he eventually gets you guys. It takes about an hour to get to the storage shed, but you eventually pull up to the gate. You input the code, and it's got, like, barbed wire gate on rollers. It goes, and opens up. And there's cameras and shit. And then you go over, and you pull up in front of the storage shed, and a big light goes on. And according to signs everywhere, you got one hour, and then the light goes off. And if you move your car, it will go back on again. So, you know. And there's the storage shed. Did anybody grab the keys? Yes. Just wanted to check. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Great. All right, so let's pull up to the shed. Yeah. You're parked right in front and easy loading. You wish the trunk was bigger on this. If you had the old trunk, that would be even better. Uh, Logan, counter surveillance. Mm -hmm. I want to know kind of like, is anyone around watching or is it cameras or anything? Lots of cameras. You don't need to roll on any of that. There's definitely cameras here. Um, you, can give me, you can give me spy lore instead if you'd like. Okay. Spy shit, spy shit, spy shit, says Kinley. You're thinking that unless you guys do something like rip off the doors and shit, that nobody will probably, or unless they report something bad happening here, the, nobody will probably review the uh, um, tapes of this. Well, we have the keys. So. Yeah, I know. You totally uh, have the keys. The, 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 the cameras were one thing. I was just also looking to make sure there was no one following us. Uh, that 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 would be super easy to see because it's you know you're in a grid of these storage shed things that are as big as like garages. Yeah, they could be holding back. They could be somewhat mm -hmm. clever, peeking around. Right. Yeah, let's have a look inside then. All right, no worries. Right. Oh, you guys pop it open, open up. Now this is just the stuff that's in addition to shit like old Christmas decorations that nobody gives a fuck about. I assume you guys will go through all that shit. I'm not even worried about. But here's the interesting shit that's in there uh, without going into too much details. There's a set of unlocked black titanium handcuffs that have no keyhole or any sort of release. Uh, there's a folded up full-size flag. Though similar to the American flag, it, the 50 stars have been replaced by swastikas. It's quite sun bleached and worn as though it's seen heavy use. There's a big ass painted portrait in an elaborate wooden frame that looks like it's really fucking old. You don't know who painted it. Uh, it's got a dude sitting down with thin face, unusually red mouth. He's got in one hand, he's got an hourglass, but it's on its side. And on the other hand, he has a book that has like French writing in it that you can read. Maybe if you speak French. Uh, the writing says this. No. Anybody doing the French? Damnation. <laughs> Hold on. Rasslin Rad, of course, speaks French fluently. <laughs> According to Rasslin Rad, it says, I shall avoid pleasure and damnation. Yeah, sounds like a real potty pooper. Mm -hmm. uh, there's also a book. Now, when I say book, imagine two uh, pieces of wood that are like kind of largest, like uh, a Playboy or magazine. Say, why did I go to Playboy? Childhood uh, pages, but um, it's instead of uh, like a cover, it's 
two uh, pieces of wood, thick, fairly thick wood, that had been bound together like a book. So if it was open, it would just be those two wooden things, right? Mm -hmm. Then it's uh, somebody engraved a lot of eyes on the cover and on the back cover. Okay. Now keep in mind the pages. There's only two, and that's when like, you say eyes, like you mean human eyes. eyes. Okay. And then somebody took a bunch of clamps and put them on it with three different locks. They're old-fashioned kind of locks, so you get a bonus if you want to try lock picking. And there's a sticky note on it that says, "Warning: Do not read this book." Can. Based on like the eyes and what I can see and like being wood without paper, can I make a uh, Cthulhu mythos roll on that? Uh, at half, it's a pretty rare one. Gotcha. So go for mythos at half. Did we all get a roll? Sure. <clears throat> nope. I look at it suspiciously. No. No. She. Yeah. I hand it to I hand it to Freddy. I'm not opening that. Well, I didn't say open it, but maybe you should uh, put it somewhere. I stick it under my t-shirt. Hmm. All right. So, shit. does the dude in the uh, painting oh, look like? Awesome. What? There's also more shit. Oh, okay. Keep uh, describing. No problem. The last thing I actually have a picture for. Yay. I like pictures. Jason, are you uh, seeing roll 20? Oh, let's see. Yes. Good. Oh. Hey, Freddy, the eyes have it. I know they do that. Oh, my life is complete. Mm. You got a for saying that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right? Just so you know, got a couple of skill plus tens and a couple of opponent fails. Just I'll take the opponent know. fail. All right. Oh, no, I'll take the skill ten. Take the skill ten? Okay. Yeah. Right. The last item is this statuette that I can describe in more detail to you. It's sitting on a little pedestal over there by itself. Um, it looks like it's uh, carved in the, quote, oriental style of a single piece of green jade made to resemble a crouching winged hound, sphinx-like, but with definite canine features. Around the base of the statue are tiny words in a strange language, and lots of tiny words at that. This is about as large as a half loaf of bread, like the shape I'm making with my hands here. It's too big to put in your pocket, but it would slip easily into a backpack or even a stretched out sock. What about a... Um simple pocket quite possibly yes yes i believe it, i believe it would what about the writing um give me uh everybody can try linguistics roles to figure out what kind of writing it is and uh yeah let's start with that and then there'll be another role for other things Nope. Russell and Rat is still confused. He can speak French, so he's still working on that. <laughs> Fumble. Oh. Ah, yes. This is obviously the language of the Swedes with their strange meatball technology. Damn yeah. Sweet. Everybody can try a, because I don't think anybody has this language. If you do have this language, then I'll give you a card later when you finally discover what it is. Everybody can try a learn role to just say, well, this is what it says. Learn times one. Nope. I want the same thing twice now. Russell and Rad's like, I'm confident it's not French this I, time. I, I, I basically, there's a couple of languages I've got that. Okay, that go on. Um, might be close, akin to it. 
I will just obviously read out the obvious ones, but is it not Hyperborean? Hyperborean? Yep. Uh, was it Demonic? Chaos? Yep. Uh, is it Venice? Is it, fin nope. is it Phoenician? No. Nope. Is it Pajanta Jara? <laughs> no. Is it Alien Grey? No. Is it Azun? No. Right. Obviously not Latin. Fuck it, I'll pick no. it up. <laughs> Got it. No problem. And um, give me a lessons times one, Alex. And also everybody everybody can try a spot hidden roll when he picks it up. No. Hmm. Should I hmm. do it? like, it sparkled and Alex's hand sparkled. Weird. Hmm. I'm going to try a, a reroll. For an essence times one. My yeah. God. One more. No. Okay. Oh, should I do one more? Fuck it. <laughs> I want to know what it is. Yeah, fuck it. Right, yeah, I'm going to reverse, like reverse dice. That's odd six. God damn it. How many hero points do you blow on that bitch? Four. You really want to know. Okay. Yeah. Um, let's see. Everybody give me danger sense rolls, by the way. <laughs> I like it when the danger sense kicks in. You feel that you are currently under the effects of a spell of some sort that you are unable to resist normally and you don't know what it is, Kenley. I feel that way. You feel that way. Uh, those of you who make their... Uh, Freddie, you believe that that statue is, and I quote, evil as fuck. Alex, put it down. 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 I will. Uh, it's evil. Put it down. That could be. A, that could be pretty valuable. Evil. Get a close look at it. Evil. Right. Are we done? It right. The phrase on it. <laughs> I run off. <laughs> I tend to trip him as he runs off. <laughs> you, 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 are you sure? Because. If he accidentally stepped on your leg, you're pretty sure it would snap it like a toothpick, and he might not notice. Because <laughs> he's a little on the freakish side of struggle. Yeah. That's yeah. Yeah. Yeah, um, I don't think it's that valuable. It looks kind of nice. Oh, did you make your... Oh, well. Uh, I, I feel um, my appraisal. I'm assuming it's not worth much. Yeah, if you had some way of seeing the magic and stuff, then maybe you could figure out what it does, Kinley. But right now you're like, eh, I feel happy. You feel a sense of joy. And, I'm uh, running off. Yeah, you run back out to the car. And ah! sit there I don't no, think no, you no, are. No, 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 no. I run, I run, I run. I run oh. for... I'm gonna I run after him. I run after him. It's, it's all this. Ah, God damn it. <laughs> Right, Kinley, like Kinley's, Kinley's made it to the end of the row, and he's like, Stitch, Stitch, Stitch to my side, and Freddy catches it. Kinley, let go of it. I'm doing something good. Now leave me alone. No. I'm doing it for your own oh, is he, is No, he's, oh, it's is he evil. Oh, is he still have the statue? Yeah, yeah. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. So I, the, you've been left alone in the uh, storage. I keep sprinting. I keep sprinting. I go out, like, lean up against it. Car. I wish I had a cigarette to smoke. I can do this all day, can we? No, you can't. <laughs> Are you guys just running around within the storage? No, no, place? I'm trying to run away from here. Oh, okay, you, you you push the gate and it goes, and then he runs out in the street, and then you run after him, and eventually you guys run to where Kansas. <laughs> what? I don't know where you're going. I'm trying to lose these two. Otherwise, I'm going to do this, and you're going to get pissed off. So either you you let me run away, or you deal with what I'm going to do now. What are you trying to do? I'm going to pocket the thing that's going to cause fucking agents to come. I'm leading them away from you and the area we're searching. Do you really want to keep following me? 